22. Next up tonight is Simon's Golden Buzzer acting, the man who won the last semi final of the week. It's Axel Blake. What's going on? My name's Axel Blake, I'm 34 years old, and I'm a stand up comedian. My first audition went amazing. <laughs> See that bit right there? And I, 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 I dance when I'm happy, I dance. I'm the man, I'm the man. I believe you can do anything you put your mind to. And my son needs to see that firsthand from his father. Look, it's moving my soul, moving my heart. In my lifetime of performances, my semi-final on the Apollo stage, <laughs> say it's the top. I didn't realize how brilliant you are. Yes, mate. You see something in me. With 11 acts in the final, it's gonna be very tough. Dad, I just wanted to say I'm so proud of you. Man. You taught me what it means to be a hard-working man. Keep your head up, keep making people laugh, but make sure you do it in style. That's my boy right there. To win BGT will change everything. Tonight I have one chance for my son to see me announce as the winner. I don't think he'd ever forget that day. Got to check upstairs. It's been crazy. What an intense week it's been, isn't it? I've got nosy neighbors now. Yeah, yeah, I've got them. Yeah, can't turn back now. Real nosy as well. Ian, number 72. Yeah, <laughs> big guy, always takes the bins out first. Yeah, you didn't want to know me before, you want to know me now. He said to me, You look more familiar. Have I seen you somewhere recently? I said, yeah, prison, d win <laughs> We met in the showers. <laughs> you think that'll get rid of him, isn't it? No, Ian's still nosy. And he knows everybody's business in the area. He said to me, don't trust the kids at number 64. I said, why? The other day, they stole my Lucky Jubilee pants off the washing line. <laughs> I said, what do you want me to do with that information, Ian? <laughs> and how do you even know it's them? It could have been the foxes. This is when I knew Ian was one of a kind. I said, I know all the foxes in the area. <laughs> and they would never do that to me. <laughs> all right, all right, Dr. Doolittle. And I just want to say thank you for everyone that voted for me on the semi-finals. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's so emotional. But it's now shown me how the nation views me as well. Taking pictures with some fans outside. Yeah. I was. And I heard one of the mums say, Stormzy's put on a bit of weight, hasn't he? <laughs> Stormzy. I know nothing like Stormzy. Joshua, yeah, but Stormzy. <laughs> I said, that's it, I'm going gym today. Because <laughs> I used to go gym religiously, you know, and I mean religiously. Christmas, Easter, Ramadan. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I did. I was one of those guys in front of the mirror as well. You know, yeah. I wasn't even holding weights. I, was just, <laughs> I wasn't even at the gym. <laughs> I was at the bus stop. <laughs> like a weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> to lose weight, I used to cycle to work with my mate. Never again, by the way, never again. The reason is because there's different type of cyclists, isn't it? You've got cyclists and you've got cyclists. <laughs> <laughs> my mate is a what? Cyclist. <laughs> They're different. He's got the spike shoes, looking like he's doing track and fields. The spandex suit, looking like Spider-Man from Scotland. 
He's got the bike with the curved handlebars. <laughs> yeah, you've seen them. How do they ride? <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm on a Boris bike in my work shoes, <laughs> trying to keep up with Mr. Tour de France. <laughs> right past me, you need a handmaid? No, Toby, I need a car. <laughs> Speaking of cars, now I know what it feels like to be cut off by a driver. <laughs> yeah, because we all know, I've been on both sides now, and we all know cyclists hate when you cut them off. They always got something to say as they go past, isn't it? When you get out of it. <laughs> it's true. It is so true. So I said, forget, forget all the cycling. That's not for me. It's not for me. I stick to dance. I love a bit of dance. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Calm down, David. Stop flirting. I'm taking. <laughs> Anything as well, anything. I don't care what it, when my doorbell goes off, I'm like, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. <laughs> yeah. Open the door, naked to my nosy neighbors, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> yeah, by the way, Ian, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> for you right now because when we first met we talked about you know what your day job was and what your dream was you know and you told me this is your dream and then you talked about being a dad and you know I saw your son in the VT again there and your bond um, it's not just how brilliant you are it's how much I like you and how much we all like you as well and honestly I really do believe this I'm, I really, really believe we have discovered a star. Yes. And I could not be happier. Yes. Yeah, and, uh, you know, that was a winning performance in every way. Completely faultless. I would love to see you walk away with the trophy tonight. I mean, and you would storm at the Royal Variety. You're a superstar, mate. Well done. Do you know the thing I love the most? You just take time with it, you let it marinate, you casually drop them bombs, and you do it in style. <laughs> yeah! Okay. Yes! Well, Martin! Good. Yes. You are... I mean, you're just a gorgeous person as well. I think that's what it is. I feel like I want to take you off and then go and have a drink with you out there. <laughs> and I know we'd get on! I'm, yes! Don't. Don't. And the whole cyclist thing, I am so with you. Why do they wear the cameras? Yeah, yeah, They're asking yeah, yeah. for trouble already. What is it about? I loved your whole act tonight. Thank it was a you, winning you. act. Oh, amazing. That's judges. Amazing. Well done, Axel. Well done. But no, stay here. Stay, stay in. Take it moment. in, take it in. To make Axel your winner, you can vote for him, but not until our last act has performed. But let's hear it for him one more time. Axel Blake, everybody.